So we are currently in an Airbnb. This is like Airbnb number like four or five since the house burned down. The house burned down over a month ago and we are starting to kind of like rebuild some of our collection of things. And one of the things that we lost in the fire was a lot of our fragrances. And there has been a fragrance that I have talked about. How long have I talked about this fragrance? I've talked about this fragrance For since years. before I knew Dustin because this was the fragrance that I would always wear. Like in 2007, 2008, it was like my fucking fragrance. There was a bottle of this that broke one time in my carry-on bag and I didn't mind. I didn't care that it was all over everything. It actually ruined a few things and I didn't care at all. I'm ready to smell it. I've heard about this scent for so long. So I've talked about it for a very long time and it's been discontinued by Gucci for like, I wanna say like six or seven years. Now it's been a very long time, it's been discontinued and I haven't been able to get it. So I went on eBay and paid like an astronomical amount of money for this. This is, I think it's like, three fluid ounces uh, of liquid. I thought you were going to say $300. I was like... Oh, no, it was more. I have a reasoning behind all this, which you guys will, like, know about later on. Not in this video, just later on in general. So the box arrived today, and I've never bought anything really from eBay. It's not really, like, my website. You've never bought anything? Not really. I don't think that I ever have that I can think of. So I, I bought like this. Twice. Like, I have no rating on eBay at all. So they're probably like, oh, it's gonna be like a really oh, shady buyer. Like, bro, ooh. Shady shipper, look at the box. The shady shipper. So, I'd like to remind everyone, this is a fragrance that is in here, like a cologne bottle. A three ounce cologne bottle. That's like kind of like a larger bottle too, but this is the box that it was shipped in. And this it is was, how it arrived to me. When we picked it up, it was so funny. Little that's concerning. The guy little concerning. <laughs> Nick and he dropped it. He dropped it like on inside and I was so excited because we had to go to our mailbox and we had to go and pick it up it today. Already looked like that. And I was like, yes, my thing finally got delivered because it's been like a week since I ordered this and I was very excited. I heard about it every day. I have to tell you how, do you want to guess how much I paid for this bottle of possibly expired, which, well, it probably is expired, which I read before I bought it that you could get like a skin condition, things could happen. I'm willing to risk it. Listen. I'm willing to risk it, okay? I saw a TikTok of this lady that tested opium from 1980. No, see, that's just crazy. Versus a new one. So for, yeah. I think if it's a couple years, you're gonna be able opium? to. Opium? Yeah. Are you talking, like the fragrance yeah. from YSL? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. I thought you were, I thought he was talking about like real opium. No. I was like, oh my God. No. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is not the same thing as what is inside of this box. Well, I'm ready so, to okay. sell it. Well, wait. Open. Do you want to guess how much I paid for this? And this is how they shipped this to me. $350. No. Four? Total, it came to like $432. Oh my God. But I have talked about this fragrance for a very long time so if this i am running the risk that this could be expired it could happen? also not smell the same at all this could also be a fake fragrance i'm running a huge risk right now and i'm so excited about it well i've I never done this is like when i used to buy the mystery boxes and do the videos this is just a much more expensive version of that. But who, like, how so did I'm they excited. get their hands on that? Like, where did they? I don't know. This, stuff this one says that it is sealed. It has the shrink wrap on it. Obviously, I know that people can shrink wrap things, but we're just gonna have to open this. So it doesn't take much, because you guys can see the tape is like this. But on the inside, on the inside, okay, the fragrance was wrapped like this. Oh, it feels heavy. Oh my God. And just the bottle of this and the box that it came in, I was obsessed with. You like, that if this is not what it is, we're gonna play the marble <gasps> go on. No, this is the box. This is the actual container that it came in. Let me take the little shrink wrap off. Let me see before you open it. I've so seen that before. Okay. I remember when they sold that. So this is the Gucci Pour Um Two, is how I say it, because I would probably fuck it up if I say it another way. So let me take. Oh. I think it's gonna be good. Oh, oh, I fucking hope so. Okay. So, oh, I don't want to ruin the box. The box is thick cardboard. It's not feeling like it's fake. Oh my god, the gold lid. Okay, I fucking love the gold lid. Oh. Okay. So this is the lid right there. Oh my gosh. Oh, my box. Oh. This is the Gucci fragrance that I talked about. So, like, it's in perfect condition. This has to be real. Is there an expiration date on this? Is that a uh, par perfume or perfume? Oh, I don't fucking know. 
It's just something that smells nice. I'm a little worried because I don't want to get a skin condition. Okay. Okay. Well, wait. Before I do this, let me read to you what it's supposed to be, like what its notes are and things. Oh no, do I not have them pulled up? Okay, so this fragrance top notes are bergamot and violet leaves. Doesn't that sound splendid? The heart notes are pimento, black tea, and cinnamon, and then the base notes are tobacco leaves, musk, myrrh, and olive wood. Myrrh. Does that not just sound fucking amazing? <laughs> Pop the little lid off. Oh my god. Should I shake it? I would. No? <laughs> As I'm shaking it. Okay. Oh. Uh. Oh my god, bitch. Oh, oh my god. I fucking love this fragrance. It smell me. Is that not amazing? Now, is this perfume? Or oh perfume? my god, no, this is a cologne. I fucking love this. This was it? worth the money that I spent on this on eBay just so I could have that moment with my fucking nostrils. That's nice. I am obsessed with this. Oh my god, it smells exactly, I'm getting like little goosebumps in my legs. It smells exactly how it did back then. It's not expired or anything. He's gonna baby it. I am gonna baby the fuck out of this or go and buy more. I don't know because. <laughs> did they have more? Oh my god. Oh, I should have cut my fingernails before doing this, but. <laughs> Oh my god, it's just, it's so nice. It is. It kind of, it kind of smells like light blue. Was it, no, don't. It kind of does. No, it doesn't. Was this worth the hype that I've given it over the time? Don't you lie. <laughs> don't you lie. It's good. Don't you lie, smell it again if you need to. No, it smells, it smells very nice. So, it's worth the hype. Like, why is this, should Gucci bring this back? Mm -hmm. Gucci should bring this back. I don't care if they have to redo. You know, keep the classic packaging. Keep the classic oh, packaging. Nice. This is great. This is great. I am very happy with my purchase. Okay. Now let's talk about this purchase. So the other day I was sitting there and I was watching Tati's new video. It's like, no big deal. Like, sucking dick and cock. Like, I'm just like, oh my god. Time and place. You know that Tati is on this kick and she's telling everyone that she's no longer doing Botox and filler and all of that, okay? But she was doing this video, and it was supposed to be like her favorite skincare products of now and like the devices she's using. In my opinion, this is like a totally sponsored like video type of thing. I don't know if these work for Tati actually, but it was actually something that I was in the market for originally because I've been wanting one of these little devices for my face. I actually lost one in the fire, but I didn't have one exactly like this. So I'm very excited. I think this is it. Yes. Did I order all this? <laughs> is that the package you didn't know what was in it? Did I, <laughs> no, I thought that I only ordered the device, but in here is an HR booster gel. This is the gel that you have to actually use with the device. And then, maybe they gave like a free gift because there was a deal going on it. It was like 40% off if you use code TOFFEE40, so I did. So maybe they sent some like extra things. This is a cradle, so I guess that you cradle the device in that. Then it also came with these collagen and radiance masks. These actually look very like wet in the packaging, so that's fun. But this is the device that I had been wanting, and I almost bought one from this company called Face Gym, which I've really been liking their products, but theirs is stupid expensive, and when I saw the code, this is actually about the same price as Face Gym's if you don't use the code, but with the 40% off I mean, that face gym ball is really yeah. Good. The face gym ball is very nice. If you guys have not heard of face gym, look them up. It does look a little crazy with the things they tell you to do to massage your face, and I think that that is just a gimmick of their items. But it does feel, it feels amazing. It feels, it feels, it feels really very good nice. on other parts of your body too. Like if you have a neck ache or something. So this is the device. Oh wow. Okay. Does not feel cheap or flimsy at all. This is actually, here, hold this. This is actually very heavy. It reminds, wow. It reminds me of the Madonna roller. Yeah. So this is like, this is going to be like electrodes though. Oh, wow. That, that, that's heavy. That is weighted. It looks very I wonder if it's phallic. charged in here. That looks like some like Tesla stuff. 
I don't know if I'm doing it right at all, but yeah, it so actually it. feels very. I'm not feeling any of like the electricity because it's on very low and I don't have the gel is that on. That's supposed to be like the derma wave. Oh no, this is supposed to work like the muscles in your face. Oh. It like contracts them, but I don't have it high enough right now. But do just roll this on your face and feel how like nice and like refreshing that feels. So I can't wait to use this actually. I think this is gonna be like nice because in Tati's little like demonstration of it in a video that she did, it was like really like pulling the muscle, like making it like work out like this. <laughs> So I'm excited that I got you this know, one. Tati said she's not doing fillers anymore. Oh my god, this fragrance y'all smells so fucking good. It does smell nice. It does so... You're gonna smell mm. your pillow? I just might. Does it remind you of anything? Well, no, this is actually the first designer fragrance that I ever purchased. Well, then it should remind you of something. You know, no, this is the first designer. It's That's what it reminds me of. It's the first designer fragrance that I purchased. I was modeling in 2007. I was flying all around. That's why this was inside of my carry-on, and it burst. I've actually had a full bottle of this taken from me by TSA, which... I know that that didn't just like get thrown away. <laughs> I know that someone took that shit home, mm -hmm. but it reminds me of like just that traveling and all that. 